Welcome back to Steel City Drones. I'm Dave King. Today we're talking about spotlight options for the Matrice 30T. By far, the Matrice 30T is our number one selling aircraft right now because of the significant price drop. A lot of deer recovery and public safety are looking at options for the Matrice 30T and we get a lot of questions about spotlights. Which is the best and or we're getting comments about, well, I heard this spotlight can do this for much less cost. So when we're talking about the different options that we all three of them are right here, each of them has pros and cons to them. So what we're gonna do is instead of making three separate videos, we put together one video that we're gonna talk about each of these, and then we're also gonna go ahead and show you side-by-side -side comparisons of each of these in relationship to each other so that you get to see exactly what we have here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with, I would even call it the oldest to the newest. So we have the CZI LP12. This is a combination loudspeaker and spotlight. So let's talk about what it does really well and some of the limitations that we have here. So obviously, because it's a combination with a loudspeaker, it's gonna be the most expensive. Pricing can change, but this pricing right now is $21.99. So what it does very well that the others do not do is that the actual spotlight can actually go all the way down. And as it's moving with the camera, so it can go down because it is offset. As you can see, there is an offset to here, so that's gonna allow us to be able to do that. But again, that offset is undesirable for some of our customers that do not like that where the spotlight has an offset to it. And again, it does not obviously have any ability to follow the pan axis on the camera because it's stationary. So it's only gonna be able to be syncing up with the camera on the tilt axis. This is the least bright out of our three options that we have right here. So it's the most expensive and it's the least bright, but again, we have a lot of people do like the combination with the loudspeaker and a lot of people really want that nadir type of application where camera is straight down in a nadir position and the actual spotlight can follow it the entire way. Now we have the CZI GL60 Mini. The actual light is going to be able to follow the camera on the pan and tilt axis both. And this does, you can see this does have a nice gimbal so it's the very stabilized as well. So the one limitation that this light does have is that because of the angle and the position where it is above the aircraft, it cannot go completely straight down in a nadir position with the camera. It is gonna be limited as to an offset. Now let's go ahead and show you some of that footage in relationship to outside flying. We're gonna go ahead and show this to you where we're actually going as more of an outright angle. And then as we're tilting down on the camera, you'll be able to see what that limitation is. When we're gonna go ahead and compare the GL60 Mini to the LP12, you're gonna see that it is much brighter. Now, and also an important consideration for this light is it is in the middle range of how expensive it is. Right now, current pricing is $19.99. So it is a rather expensive light. But again, what we'd also really like about this is the ability to be able to follow the camera on the pan axis that the others do not do. So if that is an important consideration for you, you have that. Also, we also have the LED police lights available. Some police agencies like that. So this does have that as an option. So now let's go ahead and talk about the newest spotlight. This is the JZ T60 Spotlight. This is very popular now because of the pricing. It is the least expensive. It is priced at $13.99. So it does have a significant price difference between the other two models. It also has other 
pros and cons that I'd like to talk about. So when we're talking about as far as what this can do, it is the brightest of the three spotlights. So go ahead, let's go ahead and put this and compare this with both the LP12, and you can see what a significant difference in brightness, but not only in difference in brightness, you're also seeing the size of the spotlight is larger. Now let's compare this with the GL60 Mini, 180 feet above the takeoff position in exactly the same spot and location at the same time to keep everything apples to apples comparison the same. So this is by far the brightest of the three, least expensive of the three, and the largest of the spotlights of the three. Now this does have two limitations to it as well. The first is this is not gimbal stabilized. This is more of an electronic servo being able to change the angle of where it is. So you'll see when we are having some moving around, that light does have some instability to it that the others don't because they are stabilized on camera gimbals. This is not on a camera gimbal right here. The other limitation that this has is like the GL60 Mini because of the position over on top of the aircraft, it does have a limit to how much it will follow on the tilt axis where it cannot go to the Nader camera position. Again, it's a very similar angle that the GL60 Mini has. I would say 15 to 20 degrees limitation as far as the end of reach where it cannot go straight down. So we're trying to show this to you on the screen to give you a really good perspective on what that limitation is. The third limitation is that it cannot follow the camera's pan axis like the GL60 Mini can. So to summarize the JC Spotlight, it's the least expensive, it's the brightest of the three, and has the largest spotlight of the three. It has the following limitations. Cannot be able to pan along the camera axis. It is servo driven as opposed to gimbal stability. And it has that tilt limitation as far as not being able to go down into the nadir position. So I hope this helps you, you know, try to explain all where we are with these three. Again, there are three options. They're all tools and they all do different things that each end user is gonna want very specific things that's the most important to them. So I hope this is a really good guide. If you have any other questions, put them down in the comments section below. Contact us, give us a call. We'll be glad to be able to help you step through this. We have all three spotlights in stock. We have the Matrice 30T in stock as well. We also have a very killer online course that has over five hours of content for the Matrice 30. So we got you covered no matter what you need. Now, if I could ask you for one favor, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That helps us grow the channel. Like the video, hit the notification bell as well. That way you're gonna be the first in line to be able to see when new videos come up. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.